Hey, what's up, guys? So, first of all, I'm not a political person. I don't, I don't do any political talking or, you know, I just know what's right and what's wrong. With that being said, what happened with uh, Joy Floyd was completely wrong. And I was hearing something about, oh, because he had a criminal background and, Basically, you know, in the terms of he had a criminal background, so um, you know, his he's no hero or nothing like that. And I'm not saying he is a hero or anything, but it just should open your eyes to the abuse that people go through with law enforcement. So that being said, this is my story, my story with abuse from law enforcement. You tell me if it was justified or not. All we're asking here is for justice. Not just for George Floyd, but for so many other people who have not been served any justice. These police officers are out here abusing people, doing God knows what. And people like myself, black people around the world are not receiving justice. Now I'm gonna tell you my story. You tell me if there was justice served or if uh, I deserved what happened to me. You tell me. All right, with that being said, we're the Cruise Crew, we're a family channel, and I just wanted to give you a little background story of my life and what happened to me and how I dealt with law enforcement this specific time, but almost all my life. I have kids, two beautiful kids, and my wife. Here's the intro. So welcome back to our channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to hear the story, make sure you start this video off with a thumbs up. Alright, and watch to the end. I love you guys, and I'm just telling you my part, and you tell me whether it was justified or not. So, when I was 21, I was a college student, no criminal background. I've been harassed by cops since I can remember, maybe 12, 13, 14, maybe even younger sometimes, I don't remember. Uh, I lived in New York, but this incident happened in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I was 21. St. Patrick's Day, we were out, we were having fun, and things got a little out of hand with two people I was hanging with. Now these two people were a little drunk, or had a little bit too much to drink, and I was a little buzzed, but not to the point where I couldn't, I didn't know what was going on, I didn't know what's happening, none of that, just a little bit. Let me continue the story. <laughs> All right, so we were just leaving the club, it was, late it was like three something but i was still looking for my other friends that we were supposed to meet up there and while i was uh trying to meet trying to find my other friends the two guys that i was with they started talking to some girl and they might have got out of hand now i don't know what they said to them because i was in my own world i was just looking for my other friends see what was happening and one of the other dudes that were there I didn't really know like that. All right, so one person I did know, the other one I didn't know. And what happened was, they got to talking to some girl and they might have gotten a little disrespectful. I don't know, I wasn't there. I, st I started hearing screaming from the girl, actually. The girl was screaming, she was like, oh, get away from me, or whatever. I was like, okay, cool. Now, that's alert to me, alert. Go save their butts. Don't let them get into any trouble. Go get them and leave that girl alone. That's what I want to go do. That's what I want to interject, basically. As I was there, there were dudes who were still talking. The girl was like, oh, are these your friends or whatever? Get these dudes out of my face or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. I understand she's frustrated, she's mad. I'm going to help to make sure these two dudes don't get in any trouble or even disrespect the woman. I, I wouldn't want anyone to disrespect a woman. So I'm like, oh, I'm sorry about them. Look, they drunk. 
it's St. Patrick's Day. Everybody's just trying to have a good time. I'm going to take them with me. And they're going to leave you. I guess the other dude that I was with, the one that I don't really know like that, said something to her that it got her really upset. So she started screaming again. And I'm like, yo, chill, chill, chill. Like I said, they're drunk. I'm just, so some dude came out, either her boyfriend or, I don't know, whoever she was with came out or was like trying to defend her honor, I guess. But he came out with a couple of friends. This whole time, I'm like, oh, nobody want no problems. Nobody want no problems. We just, these two dudes I'm with are drunk and I need to get them out. So nobody meant to disrespect your girl. So we gonna leave it and go, all right? I guess the, his friend, wasn't really having it. So what he did was swing at me. So as he swung at me, I turned like this, because I didn't really want to hit me, obviously, I'm trying to defend myself. So as I back up like this, his arm, his swing, like literally passes right here and like gets like the bottom of my chin. So I'm like, all right, I didn't notice. There was already, I w I'm on defense mode, so people are about this. I felt in my, that, that second, I was ready to get jumped as they're coming at me. Well, as they think that they're coming at me, it was actually a police officer coming at me. Now, I didn't notice that he was a police officer. I'm, like I said, I'm on defense mode, so in my mind right now, I'm like, whoever comes at me, I'm not going down. Like, you know, I ain't going down with them beating crap out of me. I'm gonna swing. So the police officer ran at me and I didn't notice that was a police officer. Didn't see any badges, anything like that. I, all I saw was face clinch up and I swung right to for his face. So as I swung for his face, I hit him, I hit the officer, but I didn't notice. So when I did hit him and then there were, somebody screamed out, yo, that's a police officer. As I looked clearly, I opened up like, and it, like my eyes were open, but I went from defense mode to trying to be alert and see what's going on. I saw that it was a police officer. So I immediately put my hands up, basically trying to apologize. The police officer wasn't really having it. So what he did was he hit me with his forearm, forearm right to my face. All right, cool, he hit me with, uh, all right. And I immediately tried to drop to the floor. So pushes me to the floor basically. So I, I turned around and I try to drop to the floor so that way I don't get hit anymore or anything like that. Or you know just arrest me or put the cuffs on me without beating the crap out of me. So the form dropped. I, I immediately put my hands behind my back but didn't have that either. So what he did was he got like on top of on top of my back he need me, like he need me either by my ribs and then hit me again, like at the back of my head. And he's like, put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Literally my hands were behind my back. I was like, my, my hands are behind my back. So he grabs my arm as my hands are behind my back. And he like extends it, he pushes it right back again towards my back, puts the handcuffs on me super tight. I'm like, okay. Still, maybe there's some justice there. Maybe the officer did deserve to beat me up right there, right? So he hit me a couple times. I can't really remember because it was a whole time, basically. All I remember was getting hit a couple times. So he picks me up from the floor because I'm handcuffed and he's pissed off. And all I'm trying to do is plead with the officer, like, Sir, I apologize, I didn't really mean to hit you. And if you saw, cause you literally came two minutes, either you came two minutes or even during the fight that uh, I was just on defense mode, sir. I was just swinging at whoever came at me. And he wasn't having it, he wasn't hearing it. He, he wasn't trying to listen to me. So he kept taking me down and got me towards the cop car. So I'm, I'm by the cop car now. And what he does is his partner starts searching me. So he checks, all right, he's checking me, takes my phone out, takes my wallet out, everything. He keeps, he keeps my phone on his hand. 
after he searched and finished search, searching me. This is the second officer. He keeps up my phone on his hand, and what he does is he puts me in to the back of the car, and I'm handcuffed in the back of the car, just waiting there. Then he asked, the second officer asked me, what's the password to your phone? And I'm like, so that's private property. Why do you need the password to my phone? And all he did was ask me, do you want to play that game? At this point, I'm confused. I'm like, damn, what? No, sir, uh, I just want to know why you need the password to my phone. So, okay. And what he did, what he does is he punches me while I'm in the back seat with handcuffs on. Punches me in the face. He's like, you're going to give me the password to your phone? I'm like, sir, I just want to know why. At this point, I'm like, I'm not giving him my password because why, why does he need it? So he's not giving me any answer. And he punches me again in the face. So at this point, I'm like, oh, okay. This guy's really trying to beat me up in the back of the car. And I'm like, sir, are you serious right now? And then the next thing he does is, I, 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 I kind of was trying to at least put some type of scare. I was like, yo, I'm gonna call my lawyer. Uh, you know, support, you can't be doing this or whatever. I, I didn't have a lawyer. I just said that just to see if he would stop. And uh, what he does is, he uh, he's like, okay, and he, I guess he open hands, smacked me three straight times. He smacked one, two, three, and at this I'm like almost about to black out basically because he kept smacking me. All right, all right, I'm gonna give you my password soon. He said, what's your, what's your damn password? So I gave him the password. Yo, was this really necessary? Like, there was no no care at all, like, for a human being, basically. It was like, if we weren't in a club scenario, he probably would have still beat the crap out of me. And the thing is, people saw there was, I had, I had not friends, associates, people I went to school with who saw it. And I was like, oh, I'm like, damn, all this for a password? Go, oh, he gives me my phone back. And I couldn't even check it because my hands are cuffed to my back, so I couldn't even check like what he was looking for. Cause I'm like I was so confused at that point. Like, really, I'm getting beat up for my password. Like this is crazy. This is ridiculous. So finally, they start taking me towards the precinct or you know whatever uh, to bookings. And the whole time I'm trying to talk to the police officer. Like hey, I didn't. I didn't mean to to hit you, sir. This is the first, back to the first cop again. And I didn't mean to hit you, sir. Like, uh, if you saw I was getting jumped, I swung at the next person that was coming at me and it was it happened to you. It happened to be you, sir. But I apologize, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to hit you. So this whole time, I'm just trying to plead with him. Like, come on, man, you really about to give me a criminal record. I'm a college student and I remember like, I just, like literally, it was, it was just turned 21, so I'm like, damn, I'm about to have a record for, you know, and, and, and yeah, I know what I did was wrong, and that's why I tried to apologize to him, but he wasn't having it, he didn't care at all. At this point, I was like, wow, I'm really just going to jail. Finally, I go to jail, I spent two days there, and my uncle bailed me out, so I got out, you know, I was, I was charged with a felony, a uh, battery on a police officer or something like that. It was... I had to do like two years of probation and since it was my first offense, two years of probation, anger management, and uh, community service. So I had to do all that and I was just like, and all this for basically just, you know, I hit a police officer, but as a man, as a man to man thing, somebody hit me and then apologizes. I've, I've made best friends with people who I fought and you know, police officers just think themselves as highly, like, untouchable people. So, you know, to be able to go through that and not be able to, like, thank God if it wasn't for a family, I would have a felony right now on my record. And I would not be able to get a job, finish school. I would have not been able to finish school. But thank God I was able to get my, my plea or basically whatever expunged. So basically it's when they take it off your record and you know, you're 
still get to live a normal life. But not rarely, rarely does that ever happen with people. When you get a criminal record, especially a felony, how hard and how difficult would it be to continue living uh, a life without crime? You know? And yes, many people have done it, but it's so much harder. So you make it difficult for people like me who not be able to do everything that they wanted to do because they got a criminal record. So I thank God all the time that I was able to take that off my background, basically, and continue life. But not many people have that opportunity. So you tell me whether that was justified. Like, how is George Floyd criminal background because he had a criminal background um, that's justified it, it, it wasn't so I don't know where I heard this from like I said I'm not political and I'm not trying to get into any political battles with anyone I'm just saying in general it makes it much harder for us to do anything when we get mistreated by police officers I just wish that there's justice that police officers are treated just like regular people when they commit a crime that is clearly wrong to be with. So that's my take on it. This is how I feel. This is how I live with the justice system. And you know, if you can't really see why police officers have too much too much power, then you really need to rethink your life and think about because just imagine if Things like this would happen to you on a daily. Come on, man. You gotta really think, like, for real, like, logically. Like, come on. Not, not a cop shouldn't have so much more power than a citizen uh, in living a regular life. Commit a mistake or whatever, and then expect a police officer to just like, like, beat the crap out of you or even kill someone, and then they're not hold to the same justice or whatever judicial that regular people live with all the time so that's my that's my take on it and this is why i think it don't matter if you had a criminal background or if you was live if you was doing something that's not out of the order you don't deserve to die for that so i hope you guys are really thinking about it really pushing forward with this and committing to make sure that you know with police officers we shouldn't be taken advantage of. And that's my story, guys. So um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, we're usually a family channel. We do family vlogs, pranks, and everything that's positive. We want to keep it positive. But this is something I felt like I needed to do. I needed to put out there and tell you my story because I didn't have a criminal background and I was still mistreated by the police officer. That's my story, guys. I love you guys. If you have any questions or comments leave a comment down below and i'll see you on the next video we got way more things coming up and a lot of positivity to spread and yeah stay tuned for the next video love you guys Astro.